Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. No. Laura, Executive Dean, School of Business, and Dean Bonella, Executive Dean, College of Information System and Technology at the University of Phoenix. Thanks for joining us this morning. Glad Happy to be here. here. Glad to be here. I would like to know, really quick, uh, I've got a limited amount of time with you. I'll start with you, Ruth. Give me some ways that people can advance their career in 2017. Well, the key thing is to be looking around your organization for those opportunities where there's a place to make a difference. So look for those stretch assignments, sometimes the unpopular assignments. Uh, you can learn a lot to enhance your career and spend a lot of time with customers, also learning about their problems and check out the professional development resources that might be available through your own learning systems in your organization. Those are three great ways to get started. Dennis, the job market is very, very good. The jobs report that was just released so people are switching jobs. Is there any uh, um, uh, instructions if you change jobs and you still want to accelerate yourself? Well, I think if you're going to change jobs and want to accelerate yourself, you have to take the opportunity to sort of enhance and fine tune those skills that are going to drive innovation and creativity. You've got to put yourself in a manner that you're feel willing to take risks and, uh, and fail forward and, and be successful uh, in, in outside of your comfort zone. And you've got to be able to take the opportunity of those resources that are available to you in the workplace to be successful. Ruth, the University of Phoenix, the innovation study in 2016, what was the most revealing thing that came out of the study? Well, there's lots of great uh, tips, but one of them I think struck me was the fact that 10% of hiring managers think that our employee base is not excelling at innovation. So there's some big gaps there to be learned, but actually there are five key skills that all good innovators use, questioning, observing, networking, experimenting, and associating. So you can learn these innovation skills. You don't actually have to be born with the creative gene. So that's a key thing for folks to be remembering. Dennis, I'll wrap up with you. What is Red Flint and how is it fostering innovation? Well, we found that since business and technology were accelerating so quickly, there was a need to bring those two together under one roof and one environment so people could come in and learn the skills that were necessary to be successful in the 21st century and be able to play with those technologies, work on those technologies, do a lot of hands-on experiential learning. So we created this environment to be able to provide the community a place where they can come in and learn those technologies quickly. And also, too, I'll wrap up with you, Dennis. Where can my audience go online and find out more information so that they can energize their career? So just go to phoenix.edu, type in workplace innovation, and then you'll be able to see the results of the survey and be able to find out information. Also, you can go to redflintvegas.com, and that'll tell you about the workshops and other showcases that we have here for the community to come in and enjoy. Well, live from Red Flint Experience Center in Las Vegas, I want to thank you, Ruth Ballora and Dennis Bonella from University of Phoenix Innovation. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thanks.